Good morning, everyone. I just want to read to you a little bit um, from a beautiful psalm that we read every day connected to this time of year, which is Le David Hashem Ori. And I'm going to show you how this psalm that we read every day for one month is connected to the letter I've been assigned, which is Q for questions. So if we read the first few um, verses of the psalm, Le David Hashem Ori, we see a really confident, and um, excited and grateful warrior, and that is David HaMelech, David our King. And he says, God is my light and he is my savior. From whom shall I be afraid? When my enemies come upon me, they fall down. And when things are hard, I believe and have tremendous faith in God. I believe in God. And then he goes on to say how his soul wishes to be able to sit in the house of God all day and, you know, sit in it with calmness and tranquility to serve God. So that is David, confident warrior, and just praising God. And then suddenly, we, right in the middle of the psalm, about halfway in, it starts. we see that there's suddenly a shift from where David is referring to God in the third person, right? God is my light, he is this, he is my savior, he protects me, to suddenly speaking to God in the first person. But there's this completely different tone to this part of the psalm. And David says to God, Shema Hashem Koli Ekra. He turns to God. He's not speaking about God, but turns to God and says, My soul says, Turn to you. I am looking for your face. Wait a second. Al Taser Panacha Mimeni. Don't hide your face from me. Wait, didn't we just hear one minute ago that David has all this confidence in God and feels God's presence? He's taking care of him and he's right there holding on to him. But suddenly, David is turning to God saying, Where are you? I need you. This to me poses a tremendous question about what is the nature of faith? Is faith something where we feel God and we see God and everything is clear? Or suddenly faith is, I don't know where God is. I don't know what God is. What is the ideal form of faith? And that is, I think, the great question of our religion. And to answer this question, I'm gonna say <laughs> something rather ironic that I think the essence of true faith is having questions and having doubts and having uncertainty. The great Jonathan Sachs has a quote that goes as follows. Faith does not mean certainty, but is the courage to live with uncertainty. I would like to suggest that true faith is exemplified by King David in the Psalm that we read every day for one month while we're getting ready for um, the High Holy Days. And I think it's to teach us that it's okay to have the ups and downs with our faith and with uncertainty, questions and concerns and all of that is acceptable and not only acceptable, but is at the very heart of our religion. So I would like to encourage everyone at this time of year to channel your questions and your concerns to God, to the right address. Don't just speak about God, but speak directly to him when you have questions.